We're going to be tracking it, but there is some good news with that. We're not expecting it to have the kind of environment in the Gulf that Ida did a week ago. It's a very different scene. There are some different obstacles that it will be facing. So yes, we're going to get in detail with that in a second. But first, yes, Devin, super hot. Our heat advisory continues tomorrow. Now we got a very, very slight break in humidity, but it's still feeling really hot. I think this evening might feel nice once our temperatures start to drop. But again, tomorrow our feels like could be 100 to maybe 105 topping out in spots. Invest 91 is that next area that we're talking about that might be entering the Gulf this week as probably just a loose, very messy sort of system. It will face some obstacles, but it will likely still send some moisture our way. And that's really the main thing that we're thinking, even if it develops a little bit more into maybe a depression or again, maybe a tropical storm at the very highest level. It looks like that's what it would become or it could stay completely messy and loose, but still a rainmaker with rain returning Monday, but more so the downpours around Tuesday and then maybe even Wednesday and wrapping up on Thursday from that surge of tropical moisture associated with Invest 91. Again, more on that in a second. Let's touch quickly though on our heat. Our high temperatures today in the lower 90s feels like temperatures kind of depend up to about 100 or upper 90s. So again, the little break in humidity is helping at least a bit with our heat index, but it still feels hot. We have a couple of spotty stray showers and storms, especially near the coast, but that's about it for tonight. We'll keep our rain chance slim, mostly clear skies, eventually low temperatures in the lower to middle 70s. And again, I think this evening might be pretty pleasant with that break in humidity and temperatures no longer at least in the 90s. We'll be dropping through the 80s this evening. Tomorrow we'll say highs around 93. That was our high today at the International Airport in Kenner. Just a slight chance just like today for maybe a couple of stray showers or storms. The main thing for most of us will be the sun and the heat and of course just the continued heat for those of us without power. So many people still in southeast Louisiana. Here's our precision cast showing a little stationary front kind of weakening surging to the north and then here is another front that will actually eventually dry us out as we move into the end of this coming week. But first you can see Monday. Here's our flare up of a few showers and storms. And then this is Monday evening, maybe even a heavy downpour here and there. We do not need heavy rain on all these areas where we have roof damage and other sorts of damage where rain really wouldn't be a good thing, but at least it'll cool it off a little bit. And it does unfortunately look like we'll have to be prepared for that Monday. And then, as I said, Tuesday and Wednesday. And again, that would be due to some tropical moisture in the tropics. We have Larry out here. It's a major hurricane, but not going to affect us. And then this is Invest 91. So look at Larry's path. We're not expecting it really to get anywhere near us. It's going to ride around a ridge of high pressure off to the north. And right now it might even stay well east of Bermuda without coming closer to the US. So we'll track it, but that's how it's looking now. And of course, all our eyes are on Invest 91. Uh, it really would be unfortunate to have another system, even if it's just a depression or a tropical storm as we move into just barely a week or so out from Ida, but it does look like there will at least be a chance for development. But I do want to point out a couple of things. First of all, the chance is low at this point. Even the National Hurricane Center kind of looking at the potential, keeping the chance pretty low right now. So we'll see. We'll track it for sure. But look what a mess the models are. Some of it have it kind of just meandering around here, fizzling around here. A couple bring it into the Gulf. So this is not one of those setups where we're getting a really good idea of exactly where it's going to go. Generally, it looks like the moisture will surge north. That's why this area is highlighted. But these are very messy at this point as it's not a developed system and it might never be a developed system. Look at these obstacles too. dry air indicated in the tan areas here. And also these bright colors are also unfavorable winds, wind shear, which tends to keep uh, for uh, formation for hurricanes and tropical systems kind of hindered. So let me show you with our GFS model. Just note rain really not seeing that spin up the classic sort of circular shape, just kind of bringing some moisture into the area. And if it were to drift a little bit to the east of us, that might actually keep some of the heaviest rain off to the east too. This is the European model showing the same thing, maybe a closed low, so maybe a depression, but a lot of the rain really would be the main impact for the Gulf Coast. At this point, the forecast for the next seven days shows about three inches offshore and you can see one to two overland areas. 
We'll have to see though, this could easily change a little bit as we get a better feel for what Invest 91 does. But you can see that we are anticipating some rain along the Gulf Coast. And again, we'll have to watch for a couple of heavier downpours because there will be so much tropical moisture in the atmosphere. We'll be tracking it for you. The timing on that again would mostly be midweek, late Tuesday, Wednesday, and then into early Thursday. Here's the latest on Larry, by the way. It can, could soon become a category four storm and the models are in pretty good agreement, keep, keeping it off to the north and maybe even, as I said, outside of Bermuda, so not affecting uh, land areas at this point uh, in the forecast, but we'll continue to watch it. Look at this, by the end of the week, Thursday into Friday, we get a front moving in, and that will actually set us up for a little break in humidity, a break in the rain, and maybe even a little bit of a break in temperatures Friday and Saturday. So it's very, uh, well, it's not very comforting, but a little comforting to get into September and start to see these fronts moving in. We'll see more of those in October and of course into November. And when that happens, sometimes that can kind of shield our area when these fronts start coming through from tropical systems. And so that's why once we get toward that second part of the season, our Gulf Coast area sometimes, you know, can benefit from those cold fronts. So again, nice to see that happening, and at least we will have that to look forward to this weekend. But of course, we'll be tracking everything closely. We'll keep you updated on Invest 91, but at this point, I would plan for some rain midweek as our main impact. All right, Alexandra, thank you. Stay tuned with us here on